How are you doing? Welcome back to Science Lessons Harapan Prestasi Primary School for P2 students with me, Miss Rosa. Today, we continue our discussion in Unit 2. We are focusing on what are natural and man-made materials. So, are you ready? Let's start! I will tell you the learning goals for our discussion. So, you will recognize that some materials are natural while others are man-made. You also find vocabulary such as natural material, wool, cotton, silk, rubber, wood, man-made materials, paper, plastic, glass, ceramics, concrete. Let's discuss the first point here. What are natural materials? Last week, we talked about rocks. So here, rocks are the example of natural materials. They are found in nature and are not made by humans. So friends, do you know other natural materials? Friends, now I will give you the other examples. Can you take a look for those pictures? My sweater is made of wool. Wool comes from animals. Now, look at my t-shirt. My t-shirt is made of cotton. Cotton comes from plants. So, here, natural materials can come from animals and plants. Okay, friends, what is the animal here? Right, it is sheep. So the sheep's hair, we call it here wool. So from wool, we can make woolen cap and woolen sweater. Wool comes from sheep. It is used to make caps and sweaters. Now, who knows this plant? Right. This is cotton plant. So from cotton here, we can make cotton towel and cotton t-shirt. Cotton comes from plants. It is used to make t-shirts and towels. Now I will tell you the other example of natural materials. Look at this animal. Do you know what is it? Yes, it's a silkworm. So, the silkworm here, day by day, will change into cocoon like this one. So, from cocoon, we can make here silk scarf and silk tie. Silk comes from the cocoons that silkworm spin. Silk is used to make scarves and ties. Now, the other example is rubber trees. So here, from the rubber, we can make rubber gloves and rubber shoes. Rubber comes from rubber trees. It is used to make gloves and boots. Do you know this plant? Right, it is a tree. So here, we can have the wood. The wood here, we can make wooden table and wooden chair. So wood comes from trees. It is used to make table and chair. Now let's move on to the other types. So what are man-made materials? Look at this picture. Do you know? What is it? Yes, that's a book. So my question next is, books are made of paper. Do you know papers come from? Right, so papers are made of wood and they are made by humans. So we can conclude that materials are made by humans. We call it man-made materials. As I mentioned before, from wood 
we can make paper. So, from paper, we can make another thing such as book and paper bag. So, paper is a man-made material. It is used to make books and paper bags. As you can see here, there is a material. So, this is oil. From oil, we can make plastics. Yes, yeah, so this is the example. So, from plastic, we can make plastic toy bricks or plastic clothing. Plastic are made of, from a type of oil. They are used to make toy bricks and clothing. Okay, friends, next. So, there are some ingredients here. So, there is sand and limestone. The mixture of sand and limestone here can make glass. So, from the glass, we can make glass bottle and glass bowl. So, glass is made from sand and limestone. It is used to make bottles and bowls. Next, I want to tell you about ceramics and concrete. They look like rocks, but actually they are different. They are man-made here. So, the ceramic. So it's from clay. So from the ceramic, we can make the ceramic bricks and also ceramic floor tiles. Ceramics like bricks and floor tiles are made from clay. Now look at this picture, friends. This is the mixture of clay, gravel, sand, and limestone. Yes, we can make concrete here. So from the concrete, we can make the concrete building like this. So concrete is made of mixture of clay, gravel, sand, and limestone. It is used to make buildings. Now let's recap. What have you learned? First, we know that natural materials are found in nature. Cotton, rubber, and wood are natural materials that come from plants. Wool and silk are natural materials that come from animals. Besides, man-made materials are made by humans. Paper, plastics, ceramics, and concrete are man-made material. Okay, friends, this is the end of our lesson. So, is everything clear? Great! Thank you so much for watching and paying attention to the explanation for the lesson today. So, see you around!